So in this talk, I'm, I will start with a blue type reduction and cover hibernation. And then I will, start, I will introduce a proposal for a new hibernation. And in this proposal, I'll talk about how to improve hibernation speed and how to extend the lifetime of fresh memory. So I used to use a, a older a navigation system in my car. And um, when I start a car, it takes, uh, it, uh, I have to wait for a minute and 30 seconds to use it. And I think it's not a good user experience. And additionally, uh, there are uh, critical safety reasons for the automotive, automotive industry. For example, when you are uh, put your car into reverse right, immediately, immediately after start, and your uh, rear view camera system must show you what's behind you right away. And also, it can be used for marketing. Uh, have you seen our uh, one second Android boot? Have you seen? No? <laughs> Actually, I have seen our uh, one second Android boot on YouTube. You might Google it right now. But it's quite impressive, and it's a huge motivation for me. So I'd like to mention uh, the traditional techniques and uh, tools we have been using to re reduce boot time, because uh, some of them we cannot use for hibernation. In terms of measuring, uh, Boot chart is a uh, handy tool for profiling a Linux boot sequence, but we cannot use this tool for hibernation. And in hibernation, we don't need to put a lot of effort to optimize the user space. Uh, it was a uh, uh, maintenance burden. So before we further discuss how to improve high version boots, uh, a little background uh, for those who are not familiar with hibernations. Uh, one of upper hibernations, um, uh, first step is to uh, suspend all the devices so that they cannot change their system state. And then the system, the memory is, is copied and the device is resumed so that they can be uh, written to swap space. And upon resumption, uh, the image is reloaded and the system is uh, exactly as it was before entering hibernation. So basically, uh, hibernation is work like this way. And I use this kit uh, because uh, one reason I use this kit is because uh, both the suspend the resume works fine. But if it doesn't work, uh, then you, need to put, you might need to put a lot of effort and time to fix it. And my work is based on the top of uh, the upstream links kernel hibernation. So it is generally known that uh, hibernation is uh, faster than cold build. And uh, cold build means uh, start a, a system that is turned off. So my question is uh, how fast the fast boot is compared to the cold build. So here is the result. The result shows that uh, it's about uh, two seconds faster than cold build. But this hibernation is uh, the upstream version and it's not optimized at all. So uh, you, as you can see, the high version is faster than cold boot. But actually, it's not exactly as fast as we expected, like uh, the one second Android, but you, but you probably not have seen those, but, but I have seen it. Um, and there must be some place to improve 
in the existing hibernation, I mean the upstream hibernation. So here are things that are found uh, through analysis and tests. Here. The first one is the upstream hibernation is not very scalable on a multiple system. It's limited. And uh, the load image system, uh, loading image system takes uh, most of the time during boot. And uh, reducing the system, the snapshot image, is, uh, uh, can lead to the faster image loading. So I really try, try to focus on uh, reducing the image size. And the snapshot image size, the snapshot image uh, does not uh, include the phases that are swap out uh, before entering hibernation. So I try to uh, swap out as many pieces as possible before entering the hibernation. And also a clear uh, page cast as well, because it's really helpful to reduce the image size. And lastly, I deduplicate the pages in memory, and it also uh, helped to reduce uh, the snapshot image size. So, so what is about uh, deduplicate, deduplicating pages in memory? So the first line um, represents, represents the physical plane numbers. And the, from second to uh, fourth, then it shows the, how the, it's, it shows the process of deduplication in memory. In memory. And uh, uh, at, at the bottom of the slide, you will see a table. Uh, that has entry which point to the, the physical frame number and there's it should copy uh, from and to restore the page data uh, during the uh, during the region process and here is the result so the left chart shows the boot time and from the cold to cold hibernation and the uh, uh, optimized one, it is just we uh, have optimized uh, by reducing the uh, sys uh, session image size. And uh, how fast it is, I mean the optimized version is two seconds faster than the upstream version and I think six seconds faster than cold boot. And the right chart shows the image size and as you can see, the image size is reduced from around 900 megabyte, megabyte to 200. So we can tell the existing hibernation can be optimized like this. So this, about, this is about extending lifetime of press memory. Um, after press memory, uh, becomes very powerful in embedded systems. And, but it has a limited lifetime, and also it has a limited uh, number of life cycle. So we just can switch, enable to hibernation, and let it create uh, around 900 megabyte at booting time. So in order to extend the lifetime fresh memory, I here are th are, I, I focus on two things. The first one is uh, uh, try to use a rogue search of lung management to uh, reduce the write amplification. And the second one is uh, use a storage-based uh, uh, data deduplication. It also uh, to reduce the amount of uh, uh, image to be written. So I'm going, I'm going to give uh, details in the next slide. So this is about how we reduce the write application with the blog management. Um, this, uh, basically, this support is ensure the uh, uh, sequential write. The chosen partition is divided into, divided up into cluster, and each cluster is aligned with the erased block size. Cluster is a composed of a block, and a block, a block is four kilobytes in size. And blog bridge cluster are written sequentially in a log like structure. Cluster are not overwritten until discarded except a header. So 
So not like the upstream hibernation, so new version has a more uh, closer type. So you might be familiar with um, uh, map and metadata cluster because uh, it has been used in upstream, upstream hibernation. But either and use account to garbage collection clusters are added to the new, uh, new design and uh, uh, for example, the dedupe cluster is used for uh, deduplications, and the usage count is used for uh, keep tracking of each block usage count, and the garbage collection is used to uh, um, uh, each cluster is uh, reclaimed and discarded, and this cluster is useful those ways. And we are still uh, talking about hibernation, not like fire system. But this new uh, version uh, proposal has a uh, disk layout. Um, this is how the partition looks like when it is used for uh, data uh, block management. The, as you can see, the header is the only uh, block uh, overwritten uh, every time. And uh, take a look at the uh, data cluster. And data cluster is uh, composed of a chunk table and chunks. Chunks can be either compressed or uncompressed, and it is, they are packed into the data cluster. And this is about how we uh, how to reduce the amount of uh, image uh, to be written. So basically, this process is uh, similar to the way, the way we do reduce the snapshot image size, but it, it duplicates page in stories, not in memory. So after applied uh, both uh, two things that I mentioned earlier. Uh, this is a result. So you might be interested in the, uh, the blue lines and red line, because the blue line represent, represent the deduplicating in memory, and the red line means uh, represent the duplication in stories. At the very first time, the, uh, the red line, red line just almost the same, but the second time, uh, the, the right size is dramatically reduced, uh, decreases, as you can see the second time and third time. And the green line represents the, uh, the, the compressed one, so it's lower than the red one. But as we already expected, uh, the sensor image is getting uh, fragmented uh, by the deduplication process. So the imaging loading speed is getting slower, slower because of a more randomized pattern. So uh, as you can see, this, gra this graph shows that the imaging lo loading speed is getting slower each time. So how to fix this problem? Uh, the snapshot is getting fragmented, but also we need to reduce the snapshot image size at the same time. Uh, first of all, I need to examine how this uh, snapshot image is fragmented each time. So I use a usage count on each blur and use heat map uh, to visualize the whole partitions. I will show you in the next slide how it looks like. And what I found is that there are some data clusters which have only a few blocks to be used for the snapshot imaging. Uh, every written time, the number of those clusters are increasing, and each time, the snapshot image is getting more fragmented. So uh, there is a simple way to fix this, fix this through 
though it could do cause an increase in snapshot image size, just exclude the fragment cluster from the data cluster pool, but it turns out there are too many fragment clusters, so I cannot get rid of all the fragment cluster. So I came up with a rating clusters uh, with the usage count on each block. So each time a cold cluster uh, are selected and excluded from the deduplication process. So uh, this is heat map actually uh, based on the usage count on each block. And uh, each tiny block uh, rep represented the usage count on each block, and each line represents the one cluster. And we can see the red block uh, means it's a hot block, and cold is a cold, the blue one is cold block. It means uh, it's uh, the uh, red represents the, uh, uh, they are used more frequently, and the blue one means the less, uh, less frequently for deduplication. So the image loading speed is not just decreasing. So after apply, after use this uh, a method, then you can see that it goes up and down, but it's not just decreasing. So this is about the amount of data returns. Um, the amount of uh, write increases whenever uh, hot cluster become cold because uh, the deduplication rate is uh, lower. And I think it is a trade-off between the amount of uh, write and the image loading speed. But as you can see, this approach uh, improves the loading speeds a lot. So this is part of a, a block management I mentioned earlier. Uh, in this scheme, uh, use cluster are reclaimed first before discarded by the garbage collector. Uh, Non-data cluster are reclaimed during the resume process uh, because they are no longer used. But the data cluster are reclaimed at runtime when the, the number of either cluster is below a threshold or hot clusters are become cold. And also there is the order of the data cluster to be reclaimed. Uh, cold cluster first and the less a uh, hot cluster next. And this is about garbage collector, uh, how the garbage collection is work. The uh, garbage collector is a background shroud of this system, and it keeps checking uh, the number of reclaimed uh, cluster. And if the number is uh, above a threshold, then it starts uh, discarding the reclaim the cluster uh, by giving a discard command to underlying uh, crash storage device. So this cost command gives a hint to the underlying uh, crash storage device that their specified address range has no value data. This command is sometimes called a trim or a map. So I guess that's the end of that. So, so if you have any question, please. Yes? Um, when you back earlier, you talked about the swapping and Oh, yes. Ah, uh, yes, yes, right. I see the point. Yes, that, that's a very good question. So we're still working on it. Uh, but uh, we, we are from, uh, actually, we are focused on the actual first 
uh, the screen, I mean, the first screen, because uh, uh, of course, uh, if we uh, swap out all the pages to the device, then it takes time, uh, especially when we are launching an application in Android, it, it makes slower than the, without the swapping. So that's true, so, but we are still fo are working on that problem. Thank you. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. And, and you all, so you're doing all of that during shutdown. Oh, yes, yes, basically, you're right. Yes, uh, yes, that's right. Uh, uh, actually, uh, my work is based on the uh, up, upstream kernel hibernation. It's exactly the same version, but I hacked and added more feature uh, like this one. So, uh, and also we are trying to uh, use uh, this uh, scheme uh, into the uh, maybe bootloader Yes, you know, like you, but maybe you boot or yes. Uh, actually, this picture can be uh, like a library, so we can use the API, basically. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, currently, the, this implementation, uh, we implemented this picture into the Linux kernel, and then the next, uh, the next version, we tried to implement it into the U-boot or like boot order. Yeah, all the boot order, maybe, okay. possibly. So your, your actual boot time requires uh, a boot order in order to Yes, that, yes. Order to yes, right. Yeah, that's our final goal. Yes, sorry, yes, sorry. Okay. A first one? Oh, uh, uh, so far we only use EMMC, but we can also use UFS too. Yes. Uh, yes, uh, but as you can see, the test results came from the implementation we already have done into the kernel. So yes, but also we are still working on the uh, try to implement this version into uh, boot order, but I'm still working on it. But we don't get the final uh, result. Yes, yes, right, oh, correct. Okay. Two questions. Is, okay, so downtime or uh, we're doing all the EU thing on the going down. Uh, 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 we have a long cycle problem with the current problem right now. Uh, is that just going to take any longer to negate the whole boot time idea? Okay. <laughs> That's right. Uh, you, yeah, yes, takes. Uh, more than the normal. So we uh, actually we worry about the time, but probably it's, it's really hard to uh, reduce, the, reduce the, the time, so we just still working on it, but it's not that, but it depends on the hardware uh, specification, but uh, as, uh, the board we use is not very uh, low level uh, uh, specification, but there's, I think we can almost ignore the time uh, delay. Uh, so maybe we, if we use more 
higher uh, specification of hardware, then I think we probably ignore the difference. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. Sorry, because of uh, Based on the, uh, the board we use, it takes our, um, I'm sure maybe it's, okay, we can reduce our more time. So the final version was, uh, I think it takes uh, five seconds, around five seconds? Second. Yeah, from the uh, power off to the launch screen, it's just five seconds it takes. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, the suspended reason time is not really, uh, uh, compared to the uh, loading uh, snapshot image, uh, it, it, it takes uh, more than, I'm not sure, but actually most of the time it takes. So uh, suspended reason time, it just takes uh, maybe uh, less than uh, one second, so yes, less than one second. But I think we can reduce the time if we focus on the, uh, the suspend or resume, uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, oh, yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Oh, yes, that's a good question. And I, I like to ask uh, this question to my boss, uh, leader. <laughs> so, actually, I mentioned this, uh, uh, we, we discussed this, but uh, the, com the company, they say that uh, it's not available right now, but not in public, I mean, but probably after we uh, launch our product, then it will be available in the open source. Oh. Yes, yes. Work. Oh, yes. Mm. Uh, that's <laughs> Yes, that's that's a problem. Yeah, that's a problem. Yes. Um, is there an opportunity for any kind of hardware acceleration to Oh yes, yes, yes. Uh, for example, if we use our, uh, you know, uh, we use compression, but if we have the uh, the compress engine, uh, then it, we can accelerate the speed of loading the image. Yes. I'm not sure, but yeah, it's, it's not yet done. And, but, and also, uh, there's a case, so if we use more core, more core, then it accelerates the speed of boot time. I guess, I guess what percentage of the time do you use the compression right now compared to the compression that you have right now? Um, we, uh, I think the average is 30%, yeah, 30% overall, but uh, basically when it boots, there are too many uh, zero pays, so the compression rate is very high, but it depends. Okay. All right, so uh, if there's no question, that, okay, then thank you so much for listening. <laughs>